You have no idea how difficult this shot was to construct by myself and with only a Pixel 1 cell phone. <laughs> That's Chinese for hello friends, Byromi here, and I've come to share with you the difference between the Pint and the One Wheel Plus, not the XR. So we're going to do something a little bit different here. One Wheel Plus and the XR are pretty much the same board, just the XR has more range for the most part. And we're using the toys because they're almost perfect replicas. Many of the differences of the Pint and the Plus can be shown even with their toy figure boards. Just look at the detailed work they've done on these. Even the nose handle is present on the Plus. However, the mag handle is nowhere to be found on the Pint. So the One Wheel Pint and the One Wheel Plus, the biggest difference between the two of them, I feel, is the top speed. That's the most important difference between the Plus and the Pint. You get a higher top speed with the Plus than you do with the Pint. The second most important difference, I think, would be the One Wheel Pint. On paper, though it seems to have the same specs for range as the One Wheel Plus, I and many other people have been reporting significantly longer range on the Pint. The Pint is a little beast. It's a little whip. It's awesome. So everything else is kind of subjective, depending on your needs and your desires and your wants, and or can be modified, such as the tire, for example. So if you need more power at higher speed, you're going to want to get the One Wheel Plus or the XR. A lot of the physical differences of the Pint and the One Wheel Plus and XR are subjective. Do you want a smaller board? Do you want a more rounded wheel? Some of these are even modifiable, like the wheel. The reason the Pint is described as being more carvy and more nimble is because it's smaller, it has a more rounded tire, your stance is therefore also going to be closer together because of its smaller size. These things are somewhat modifiable on the larger Plus and XR. You can put a rounder tire on the XR, but the Pint will always remain to be the smaller and lighter one wheel, and that will always help with its carving and maneuverability. I weigh 160 pounds. All of my riding, for the most part, has been in Pacific mode. I enjoy the feel and the carve that I get from Pacific mode over the uh, Skyline mode and the tire pressure has been unchanged. I've done nothing to the tire pressure and it is uh, stock out of the box. So I've been getting 10 miles on streets of uh, various incline and decline. I took a route on the Page Golf Course that I normally take with the One Wheel Plus that would normally drain the battery but I had 50% battery remaining. So I could have done the trip again, but it would have been really tight, <laughs> and I probably would have been really anxious toward the end of the ride getting you know, close to a dead battery. And on off-road, I've been getting two additional miles on the Pint than I would on the Plus. I also took the Pint on a route on the, what is known as the Rimview Trail on the north end of Page, a route that would normally drain the battery of my One Wheel Plus perfectly. It was a perfect route to take. I did that same route with the Pint and I had 30% battery remaining, which I used that to go an additional two miles. So it was five miles for that route and then an additional two to bring it to a total of seven miles off-roading on the One Wheel Pint. I also took the One Wheel Pint to the skate park. I have never done a full complete ride on the Plus at the skate park, so I can't do a direct comparison between the Plus and the Pint for skate park riding, but I did get seven miles of skate park riding minus like a half a mile or so to and from my house. The Pint is a great introduction to one wheeling. It does have a stronger pushback, which some who have ridden one wheels before have complained about. But for those who are learning, it is a godsend because you need that extra 
strong flavor of warning, body language warning from the pint to teach you push back and to teach you to respect the board as the machine that it is. So if you'd like to come along with me on my off-road ride that I documented with my cell phone, again, everything I do on my YouTube channel is all cell phone. That's the one thing that all my videos are the same about, is using the cell phone. It'll always be that way. Um, so, yeah. Go get a pint, y'all. Or a One Wheel Plus, One Wheel V1, One Wheel XR and enjoy the zen of that dancing surfing feel anywhere and almost everywhere <laughs> see you later have a righteous day if you enjoyed this opening sequence please like and subscribe it took a considerable amount of effort and time i preferred to get lake pal in the background but alas it is far too low and over here we have the Glen Canyon Dam. But again, it's too low. When you're shooting down low, everything disappears.